It's the Cornwall Business District Food Festival. It's our second year. It's the annual event, and this year, We've expanded it by 100%. It's a two-day event. I'm Phil Oldershaw. I'm your presenter, compare, host, whatever you want to call me. I'm here all day today. I'm here tomorrow. And we're here to uh, participate in the Cornwall Business District Food Festival. Make some noise for the culinary delights of the city. We have some uh, live cooking demonstrations. The first one of the day, we're going to have Jojo Lappers here. Uh, showing us some of their Nepalese cuisine, which I've got to say is absolutely beautiful. We're going to officially open the two-day event, the proceedings for Cornwall Business District Food Festival, and I'd like to welcome to stage uh, Gary Cardin, who's the chairman of Cornwall Business District, and also Sir Albert Ball, our fine leader for Birmingham City Council. What I would like to say is that during the course of these two days, we are combined, as you heard, with the uh, Birmingham International Jazz and Blues Festival. So we're going to have lots of entertainment over the next 48 hours. Just to give you the highlights of today, performing between the two stages, we've got Jojo Lapper, uh, Nepalese food being demonstrated very shortly. We've got the Colmore Business District Choir Colmore Circus, which is fantastic. That will be taking place on the stage here to my left, around about 1.35. Okay, so you're in for a fantastic set now. It's the last hour of the Cornwall Food Festival and also uh, Birmingham International Blues and Jazz Festival event being held here in Victoria Square. I've got to say that I have had the joy of dining at Jojo Lampers and uh, it certainly is an experience. The food is absolutely... Uh, it's mouth-watering. Yes, go and try one, Phil. As you... Okay, so here we go. Sauce. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Tomorrow, 4.30. 4.30 yeah. tomorrow. And we'll be demonstrating chicken chilli tomorrow. Chicken, Something oh, big different. Which my, is your favourite. It's my favourite <laughs> chilli chicken. Indeed it is. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so if you'd like to try some, obviously they've got something they made up earlier here. They're going to come out with the plates. And that is, that's got a lovely spice kick to it, that is. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Kerrang Radio, just over to your left. Draw carriageway, just in front. So uh, I'd like to thank you all very much for joining me at part of the uh, Cornwall Business District Food Festival. Thank you very much. Jojo Lappers, a family-run business, also on the upper end, do we call it the upper end of New Wall Street? Indeed, beautiful restaurant. He's going to show you how to do it fast. So, so it's cuddly. almost like a japati mix. Is he missing a japati mix? Or is it's it a just And David Colcom from Opus Restaurant, make some noise. Ah, you're getting warmed up, I love it. Glyn and David will each prepare a dish of their own and will be joined by guest sous chefs. Glyn will be joined by uh, Richard McCombe, who's the food critic for the Birmingham Post. Thank you. Uh, and also following David Corkham's visit to the USA earlier this year, uh, as the UK's representative for Chicago's Culinary Crossroads event, Chef Dirk Flanagan, all the way from Chicago, has travelled to Birmingham to spend a week with Opus Restaurant. I couldn't think of a, a, a finer background or a backdrop. The Himalayas is the backdrop for uh, your culinary delights. But we now have the sun, so we'll be we eating it yes. in the sun. <laughs> okay, all within about five or ten minutes walk of where we are now, there's probably... Oh, Far too many to mention, but we've got over 20 um, bars, restaurants and other shop units that are showing what Cornwall Business District has to offer, whether you're on a lunchtime break, after work or even on a Saturday and Sunday. Oh yes, Cornwall Business District, uh, the food units, the bars, restaurants, they are running all the way through the week, seven days a week.